What's up, YouTube? Low Riding Gorilla here. Today, we are going to be starting a new segment of our Let's Play Simulator series. Today, we are going to be playing Construction Simulator 2012. Now, I saw this game a while back, played a demo of it, and it seemed like a pretty interesting game, considering that it's a simulator about construction. So, I figured, why not today? Let's go ahead and start a fresh playthrough on it and see what it's all about because like I said it's been a while since I played it so I don't exactly remember every, how everything was but let's go ahead and uh, get started so we're going to click on the construction site menu and we have our first construction right here the project is to build a garage the builder is a the Mueller family and it costs $12,000 so, construction stages, dig foundation, and build the garage. So, let's go ahead and go to the building site. Now, like I was saying, it actually is a pretty interesting game considering what it is. Some simulators are absolutely awful. This one's not quite the worst thing in the world. As you can see, the guys actually walk around somewhat decent, and it doesn't look like a pile of crap. So, we're going to go ahead and hop in our truck. As you can see, it's really not that bad of a thing, but we're going to go ahead and head to the site. Now, bear with me. Like I said, it's been a while since I've played it, so the controls are not too fresh on my memory. There we go. I knew there was a control for that. I couldn't remember exactly what it was, but here we go. Um, enter changes vehicle mode, I believe. Or, there we go, tab changes vehicle mode, alright. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, start moving. And we also have our map right here. As you can see, we are right here. So, we're going to be heading all the way over here. As you can see, the camera's kind of crazy. But, we should be alright. As you can see, the handling on this game is not exactly the greatest for driving the dump truck, but it'll get by. Um, so I guess we're heading into this neighborhood right here. As you can see, that drives me crazy when we go to look. Uh, and no, we missed our street. So let's back up and hope we don't kill anyone. And we're back on track. Alright, so we're going to be taking a left right here. As you can see, driving rules really aren't too big of a worry. And we found our construction site. So we're going to be pulling off right here. And they already even have our area marked off. And now for this first mission, I believe we will be using this uh, little Bobcat skid steer excavator. But we're going to go ahead and get in location to start digging. Now, I know from what I played before that you have two options. One, you can just dig the hole like normal, or um, you can uh, just dump it. They don't, but you can take it and load it in the truck and uh, take it and dump it somewhere else. But for now, we're going to go ahead and just uh, throw it off to the side here. So we're going to real quick go ahead and dig this out. Shouldn't take too, too long. Like I said, it's really not that big of a hole we're digging. I mean, it's only for a garage. But as you can see, whenever we're digging, the bottom is basically highlighted by that where you can tell the difference in the ground. I don't know what you call it. We could call it the bedding or anything in particular. But it has that two types of soil. So we're going to go ahead and dig this out real quick. And then we'll be able to move on to the next step. I don't know if I grabbed any dirt right there. But 
But what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and uh, skip ahead. And I'm going to come back when we're basically done digging this hole because, as you see, you can see the process of how it's working. I just don't feel like wasting your time watching me dig a hole, which is a lot of repetition, and you get the basic idea of it. So um, I'll be back in just a short while. All right, we're back right now. You can see we're just about finished with the hole. It took me a good little while to do it, but we're going to go ahead and finish it real quick and uh, get on to the next area of the build. As you can see, we are piling up quite a bit, good bit of dirt. As you can see, if I were to fill the dump truck, probably would take a good while longer and not to mention we would have to make trips to the little dump yard that they have cordoned off on the game so I figured why not just dump it off to the side because who cares the neighbors might want a sandbox or something I mean it's not really a big deal they want a garage they're not paying us to take the dirt away now are they and there we go so here we are, here I am. I see you're already finished. Great. Unfortunately, I have to work in the office. Can you operate the truck mounted crane? So I, of course I can. I did that at my last firm. Great. Then you do that. The flatbed truck with the prefabricated parts is already there. You just have to pick up the parts and set them down properly. Please be careful not to damage the framework or anything else. When you're finished, come to the office. Oh, if you want to listen to music while you work, you can turn on the radio. Then the music from the music folder and the installation folder will be played back. Okay, thanks. So basically, he's dumping the workload on us because he don't feel like doing it. He just wants to go back to the office while we work away. As you can see, they cleared the dirt for us, so we're not too worried about that. Now, to extend supports, we're going to need to press Y. And this will extend our supports out so we can get this crane safely supported. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and kick on the warning light just so everyone knows not to stand in our way. Alright, so now we're going to be hopping into the crane. Alright, to use the crane... We use basically a combination of WASD and the arrow keys, and also X and Y. Um, again, once I get this started, I probably will just skip ahead and skip to the end, because I doubt y'all want to watch how slow this is with me placing a load. So, yeah. Um, as you can see, the crane is not exactly the pinnacle of speed, like you may hope. Um... But let's go ahead and place a couple pieces, then we'll uh, skip ahead. Because I think once we get it set out most of the way, we should be all right. And we're going to go ahead and lower the winch. And we have what looks like the floor or a wall, possibly. I think it's probably the floor, though, because of the way it picked up. Um, yeah, because the walls are right there. Yeah, this is the floor. Now, I find that funny about the floor. They already have what looks like to be concrete or asphalt laying down, but they uh, still want a floor. So, but we'll give them what they want. They're paying us either way, so doesn't really matter to me. We're just going to, oh, wrong button, my mistake. And we're going to extend this out a little bit, and let's go ahead and drop it down. And first step is done. Now we're going to swing this crane back over. And we're going to pick up our first piece of wall. Come on. You gotta love it. The boss man just knew. He's like, hey, do you know how to use a crane? And we're like, sure. And he's like, good, because I don't feel like it. And now I'm starting to understand why he doesn't feel like it. Because, let's face it, the crane is slow as crap. But we're going to get it done either way. And I'm dragging. He's like, don't damage the framework. But we don't care, do we? We just want to get it done. Probably just killed a person or two. But I don't see anyone walking around, so we might get away with it. But we're going to go ahead and place this wall.
Wow, magically the wall shifted over about five or six feet, and we're good. So let's go ahead and grab another piece. And this crane has about 10 different buttons, so yeah, you have to bear with me with this wonderful control scheme. It's very precise. You know, you can be 6 or 7 feet off. As long as you're in the same general direction, you'll be alright. But let's go ahead and uh, scoot the crane back just a hair. And I love the little glowing orb that appears out of it. Alright, let's go ahead and get this piece lifted up. Looks like one of the main structure walls. And we're going to go ahead and start swinging. Probably, probably going to have to rotate the actual cable. And yes, we're going to have to rotate the line. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and start lowering it. And we have the second wall placed. Only two, one more wall to place, and then uh, it looks like the roof. And then we should be money. Let's go ahead and shoot this thing out and pick up our last piece of wall. As you can see, since it's a garage, I don't think they're worried too much about that front wall. They must be uh, having someone else do it. At least that's what I suppose. And we have this last piece of wall. We're going to go ahead and once we get it up, we're going to go ahead and start retracting our crane arm. And let's go ahead and uh, start rotating the wall. Wow, again, the wall magically just transferred over. That's absolutely amazing. I wish we could somehow figure out how to do that in real life. Hey, don't worry, the wall doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it's within six or seven feet, we can magically lift the concrete wall and drop it exactly where we need it to go. But let's go ahead and, uh, looks like the roof beam, and we're going to go ahead and pick up this. There we go. And as you can see, I somehow managed to keep, uh, I figured out to start using the crane boom versus the uh, winch as much. It seems to be more uh, reactive, I guess you could say. And then once we're over what we need to do, then we'll uh, drop it. But let's go ahead and start dropping the roof panel now. And I'm guessing we don't do the roof because it looks like the house that they're building right next to us, uh, they're putting a wood roof on. And I... I and now what are we to be placing? And here's our boss again, and everything was okay? Yes, no problems. The garage has been built. Yes, that went smoothly. Great work. A good start. I'm glad that you're with us. We're expecting a lot of work in the coming weeks, but now it's time to go home. See you tomorrow. Have a nice evening, boss. See you tomorrow. Yeah, really. Mission complete. So, that's basically it. That's the first, uh part of this um that's gonna be it for this episode though uh next time we'll probably be playing another game but if you like it like it if you want to subscribe subscribe and comments are always appreciated don't forget if you want to see me play something feel free to ask all right thanks and uh see you guys next time